Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 7 of Corvette 50th Anniversary Edition. And in this episode, we're going to go ahead and do the other amateur section of the game, which is under arcade mode here. We have our amateur and professional, and of course, we'll be starting off on amateur because we cannot do professional yet. And it's uh, a little bit different from the career in the fact you can actually pick any generation of Corvette uh, at any time to work on, I guess. And basically, otherwise, you do one race and then you go to the right from there. So we'll have five races of each generation to do, and of course we'll start out on C1, since it is the first one. And we can actually pick our generation of Corvette. And uh, as somebody in the comments mentioned during the intro video of this game, there's a 53, I think, Corvette in the intro of this game that has a hardtop on it. You can't select a hardtop version of the C1 Corvette in the game, though. Uh, like, usually there'd be like a select model underneath the select year uh, option, but no, you can't do that. So, anyways, so what do we what have we used? We've used a 60, I think, or something. I don't know. We've used a 62. I know that. You can tell the differences. It has every individual year of Corvette, by the way. You can tell. Um, you know what? We'll go ahead. We'll uh, we'll make it interesting. We'll do you. You know what? We'll use the original one, and I can change per or per race too, which is nice. Let's we'll look at our stats here. Of course, this was the inline six version of the Corvette. Most popular exterior paint option it was the only exterior paint option for the first year Corvette. In case you didn't realize, here's all the information for our first year Corvette. They all had Powerglide automatic transmissions with 150 horsepower, or on 150 horsepower six-cylinder engines so on and so forth. Interesting little factoids of the first year Corvette there. But let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we don't have any options for colors because we only have one color for this year of Corvette. And we'll go ahead and get started at Rock something alternate falls. I don't know. But this is where the bulk of just using the different years of Corvettes will come in during the arcade mode. I don't remember what the professional arcade mode is like. I don't know if it's different or the same. Don't think I ever finished the arcade mode in this game, to be honest with you. Or even the uh, amateur version. And if we go in here, we do get the same gauges. All right, good to know. But let's go ahead and see how this goes. Funny enough, I do have a three speed, even though the game was like, ah, yes, all of the 53s came with power glides, which would be a two speed automatic, not three speed. And there was no, uh, I guess there wasn't a manual option, I don't know. But we'll go ahead and start working our way through the arcade mode. Oh god. Thankfully I don't have to worry about the game messing up the timer this time around. That is nice. C1 Corvettes, or especially earlier ones, sure are funky looking cars to say the least. A little brake lights on the fins. I like the uh, the headlight covers. That's my well, probably one of my favorite parts about the super early Corvettes. They are quite interesting. It's time to buckle down, do some more racing. At least we only have two laps to start out here. No, we have five races to do, so it won't be quite as short as some of the races in the career mode, and I'm getting past, which is wonderful. Uh, excuse me. Oh, my lord. What? Why have you done this to me? Why have you for forsaken me? There might be an option that I changed in the graphics, by the way, that I didn't change back, to trying to figure out why the game was being weird. Maybe I'll do that after this race. Pay attention to that. Got a new lap record, which is wonderful. I thought we could use the custom colors we unlocked in the career in arcade mode, but I guess not. But that is fine. Not a big deal. Also, ah yes, uh, the wonderful six-cylinder sound, which is totally different from the V8 sound for the C1s. It's, it's not. It's still the V8 sound. <laughs> How nice. To be fair, this would be the only, I think 54 introduced the, the 283 V8, 
maybe, or 327, I can't remember. It would have been the only, like, one of the only years, at least, of the Corvette with the six-cylinder. I'm not that much of a nerd, I guess. Sadly. Oh god. No, don't pass me. Don't do it. You little bastard. That's illegal. This is proving to be slightly more difficult than the career as well, which I don't know why. Maybe because I picked a first year Corvette with the least power. Maybe that's why. Still got our first race unlocked though, thankfully. And there we go. Only slightly ahead. Which is new for me. And we have unlocked the track for quick race and split screen, which is nice. And I guess I'll get a thumbnail off of this too. Okay, so you know that will work. Let's go ahead and continue on to our second race. Obviously we get the little gold badge for completing all this. And yeah, let's go ahead and continue on to our next race. And I'll go ahead, um, you know what, we'll use a middle year. We'll use a 56 Corvette, why not? Let's see if the info is any different. Sure is. Put some real nerd shit in this game. <laughs> Venetian red was the most popular exterior paint option for the 56, apparently. 265 horsepower V8. Ooh, featuring roll-up windows, which was new. They did actually start coming with roofs uh, at some point. 1956, saw the redesign. Huh. Let's see, so this was the first redesign. Huh, interesting. But there's that. And we will go ahead and... Oh, I can pick the two-tone paints now, or the, the custom paints, interestingly enough. You know what? Since it was the most popular color, we shall pick out the red for our second race here. Back to the city we go, it seems, as well. Got a couple of early ones. A 53, 55, 59... Am a 56. That's very nice. This one's got like the little inset brake lights. They did do pretty good on the uh, the details of the different gears, at least. I will give Steel Monkeys that. I think I mentioned too. Oh, it's only has a three speed. I forgot about that. Uh, I think I mentioned at some point. I'm pretty sure, based off of what I've seen on the internet, which of course take that with a grain of salt. Uh, but <clears throat> the popular thing is that this game was produced by the Glasgow Scotland uh, <coughs> branch of Steel Monkeys. My throat is hurting for some reason. It's not hurting, it's tickled. Why do I have shit in my throat? Also, why is this more difficult than the career? I don't, I'm not entirely sure. Should have the same gauges, I think. Yup. We'll be able to check out all the gauges. Oh god, of different years. So that'll be pretty cool. I think the only ones that might be different might be C3s. And then of course C4s as well. Ah. No, don't pass me. Why did you pass me, you bastard? Later, nerd. Get the hot air. Top speed of about 105. Somewhere around there. Again, only two laps, thankfully. Not too bad of uh, game time padding through here, at least. So far. Of course, this is the only, only the first section of the arcade mode. I guess we'll see as we go further through. Could you screw off, please? Trying to win here. I'm trying to do a let's play here. Could you could you just not do that maybe? Ah shit, this is a sharper than I thought it was. No! 
Stop it. Damn it. Little bastard. I will not let you win. You will not. You will be voted off the island. You will not survive. That's a little dark, but you know what? I don't care. God damn it. Why is arcade mode harder than the regular mode? Why am I struggling? That's fucked up. I don't think I'm going that slow. Maybe I am. I don't know. Anyways, doesn't matter. I win. And best lap at 132 looked like. Not too shabby. Maybe we like that. Track four, quick race, of course. And next we have Smoke Creek East. Um, let's see, what do we got here? So, I don't think I've used a 58 or nine. Has this got the newer front end? Oh, it does, okay. So, I think 60, yeah, 61, 62 were the newer years. Um, let's see, what else have I yet to use? I think they are pretty much all gonna be the same from here on out, but you know what? We'll drive the earlier one again, but a 55, so we get the V8 instead of the inline six. Three two manual is offered as an alternative. Very nice. Seven hundred. Huh. Interesting. Um. Interestingly enough, we can pick different colors, even though... Oh, I think they did add more colors uh, for like the second and third year. I don't know. But, of course, the white was the most popular. But, I'm gonna use blue. We've already used an early white Corvette. Don't need to be that much of a nerd about it. Maybe. Alright. We have a gold one in front of us too. Ooh, very nice. Let's go. See if this race feels more difficult than usual. Probably, if I had to guess. Oh shit. Hello. Goodbye. Later gamers, or a gamer. Oh, and there's the other gamers. Oh. Oh, geez. Careful. Silly. And this should be the off road. Yep. Or the dirt section, I should say, I guess. Oh, God. No, screw off. Go away. New lap record. Seems like the AI should have taken the lap record before me, but I guess not. That's not how this works at all. Only three gears. Oh, geez. Careful. slower so I don't screw it up as bad. I still screw it up pretty bad. That's a lot of dust. I'm surprised. It's kind of impressive. Go! Alrighty. Best time was a 109. 
Not bad. All of our stats. And on to our fourth race at Pacific Straits Alternate West. Um, let's see. So we've used a couple. I don't know. I guess I could use a newer one. We could use like a 59. Oh, they got little like reflectors. I didn't notice that. Um, yeah, we'll use a, uh, I don't know. We'll use a 59. Sure, why not? Snowcrest White was the more, most popular paint option for this year, interestingly enough. 290 horsepower V8. Headlivers and the Twin Chrome Trunk Spears. Hmm. Interesting. Reverse Lockout. Alright, let's just go ahead and pick this thing. Snowcrest White was our most popular color, but you know what? I want to use... Well, I guess I could use white. I don't know. There's not, like, a ton of colors. We'll use Tuxedo Black. I drove a Corvette from around this era that was Tuxedo Black. Uh, C2, or C1, I should say. Let's see how this goes. I bet it'll go about the same as the other ones. Crazy enough. Still not four speed. Oh god. Even though I'm 99% sure you could get a later Corvette like this or a later C1 with a four speed. Come here, you little bastards. Don't hit me, please. First place has been acquired, and also it, this seems like the, one of the last tracks I drove on in an amateur career, but backwards now. Very cool. It's a different track. What do we have, like five locations in this game? Six locations maybe? Maybe seven, I guess. I'm too dumb to pay attention, to say the least. Uh, oh geez, careful. We're good. Oh, that's a hard right. That seems familiar. I think that's the same turn I took. And whatever the other track was. Something something. C5 amateur career something something. Now I wonder if the last race will be a one-on-one. -on -one? I'm not entirely sure, actually. I guess we'll find out. I don't remember how the arcade mode in this game works. I don't think I... I did like half of it, maybe. Of the amateur career mode. Or the amateur arcade mode in this game on my uh, Xbox version. I never really cared enough because it was just very repetitive. My steering wheel is again at a very odd angle. It's kind of like turned partially to like the right or something. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Because I'm pretty sure a spoke is not supposed to be going at about 2 o'clock. They tried, I guess. At least the steering wheel turns. They're in some games. Sharp turns on this track. Why? 
here. I'm actually curious, maybe after this I'll look and see uh, how sporadic the tracks I've unlocked over this Let's Play so far have been. Because it'll show me all the tracks have been unlocked if I just go to quick race mode. And it's probably not in a row, and it, or like, I bet it's like just random ones. Anyways, I won. Not too shabby. Unlock that track for quick race. Shall continue on to our final race, and it says beat opponent. So it looks like we do have a one-on-one -on -one for our final race here. And uh, you know what? We'll do sure. We'll do a 61. They're in 15 horsepower V8, so it's probably a 327, I think. Four rear taillights. Windshield washers, sunshades, parking brake with a warning light. Hmm. Interesting. It just says 283. Huh. Interesting. Uh, anyways, what was the most popular color? Probably... Oh, it was a white. Huh. Interesting. It was a different white, of course. Um, you know what? We'll use... Did I use the maroon on this? No, no, no. I used the, the light blue, I think. We'll use the maroon. Why not? Oh, well, quote-unquote maroon. And we're back to our longer tracks, I guess probably with cop and traffic at some point, I would assume. I'm not entirely sure. Once again, I see a Kodiak, or a top kick, uh, back there, and I see traffic in front of me. And we're racing against a 57. All right, let's go. Let's see how this goes. Eh. Still no four speed, of course. Like the grass just kind of flies up if you even barely touch it. This looks like it's going to be extremely easy once again because the AI is stopped. Um, I don't think the AI is very good at these longer tracks. Well, there's a Corvette, or there's a cop car. I'm sure, there's a Corvette. Also, I like that they they put a hard top on the Corvettes for the police so they could have the light bar on top. That's actually funny. Didn't even think about that. Because obviously you can't pick a hard top in uh, the C1 generation at all. Why are you faster than me? Go away. Oh god, you're gonna actually create, cause problems for me, aren't you? Did you screw off, my friend? We're crashing into some traffic or something? I guess not, okay. Well, we might have to cap on us for a longer time this time. Ow. Or not. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Oh my god, please. Uh, cop is still back there. Oh! Just kinda slowed down and stopped. Nice. The AI is definitely moving again. Still 17 seconds behind, or between 16 and 17. Oh god. Road at tunnel, 630 yards. Thoughtly specific. So the, the traffic car was clipped inside the wall. Nice. That's how it works. We have a shortcut. I want to take the shortcut. Yeah, shortcut. Oh god, it's grass. I'm going so slow. Oh my god, it's so much slower. Well, that was probably not worth it. I did it anyways, though. I think those are called both Kodiaks and Top Kicks. Maybe it's a GMC Kodiak and Chevy Top Kick? I'm not sure. I am uh, not well versed in the universe of heavy duty trucks. Like, I know up to like 3,500, and that's about it. Or 350s, or whatever you want to call them. And now 20 seconds ahead. Not too shabby. Keep her forward through there.
Huh. Car show type beat. River Bridge, USA, 1934. Very descriptive. River Bridge. I still appreciate that there's only signs for one direction of traffic. If you do the, the reverse version of this track, you don't see any of it unless you look back behind you. Quality. Oh shit. Oh shit. I am not going to take the shortcut at the end of the lap this time. I'd say it was probably not exactly worth it. seconds ahead. I'm not really gaining time as much as I was before. I don't think it really matters, but just something I noticed. I'm gonna stick to the right side this time and hopefully not die. Oh god. Top kick. Hey, that actually wasn't too bad. Not too shabby at all. Hello, Papa. Goodbye, Papa. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna not take the shortcut this time. Because that sounds bad. Good try, Papa. Oh, one of the stars disappeared. Huh. Danny Derby has failed. Damn. 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 <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. And there we go. There's that. And now, we actually get different Corvettes in our little ending scene here. Based off of the, probably the three different facelifts of the C1. Oh, nope, that one is not a 60, or 50, not 58. I don't know. Not quite, but we have won all the C1 Amateur Arcade Races, so we got our trophy for that. And we have all of the C1 cars unlocked for Quick Race Mode, which I didn't realize you did. Interesting. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and continue, and there is our five gold badges, whatever you want to call them. Uh, but I want to see real quick. Oh yeah, so we do... Yeah, like, stuff like this, like, we don't have this, but we have this, and... <laughs> there's just random tracks unlocked. Interesting. Uh, but there we go, there's that, so I will save. We are 22% of the way through the game. I'm sure I'll save over my all or my, uh... My oopsie whoopsie one there too. And there is our trophy against the black background. Very nice. So that will conclude this episode of Corvette. Thank you all so very much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.